confirmation of prophecies as you see there and the warning of judgments and naona Kenya sasa mnavuna mlio ya panda kabla sija enda pale let's open to some kitabu cha Ezekiel kitabu cha Ezekiel Nashukuru Mungu maana Mungu wetu ni mwaminifu anatimiza neno lile ambalo akalinena kunipitia na hivyo basi mie na nyenyekea tu amba Bwana Yesu azidi kutukuka Bwana Yesu mwenyewe azidi kutukuka Haleluya Pia nataka nistangaze nimeokoka na Yesu Kristo ni Bwana wangu ni mwokozi wangu bila shaka natumika na Yesu mwana wa Mungu natumika kwa neema yake bwana so wale ambao wanaweza kuwa wana shaka e, basi tulia mali umefika hapa ni kwa Yesu na hapa tuko salama kabla tujasome Ezekiel pia nataka niwasomeni e, niwasomeni Isaia so kama unafungua Ezekiel fungua Ezekiel sura ni tatu pia fungua Isaia sura 44 so we are looking at um, Isaiah 44 and also Ezekiel chapter number 33 Ntasoma kwa uwezo wa Bwana let me start with Ezekiel chapter number 3 Verse number 17 Bible says Son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them a warning from me so i have given warnings to the state right from the king or your captain you call him your president i've given warnings to him and his house i've given a warning to Raila Odinga and his house i've given a warning to Kindiki Kithure and his ministry i have given a warning to the parliament i've given a warning to the judiciary i've given a warning to the church right from the archbishops and uh, the bishops and the pastors reverends prophets apostles those who are teachers those who are evangelists have given them warnings plus the prophets as the lord will have me give the warning so bible says here verse number 18 when i say unto the wicked thou shalt surely die and thou givest him not warning nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will i require at thine hand my hands are clean lord i've done that which you sent me yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered your soul thank you lord i've delivered my soul 20 Again when a righteous man does turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity and lay a stumbling block and I lay a stumbling block before him he shall die because thou was not given him warning he shall die in his sin and his righteousness which he has done shall not be remembered but his blood will I require at your hand this one too i am exempted of the lord verse number 21 nevertheless if thou want the righteous man that the righteous sin not and he does not sin he shall surely live because he is warned also thou hast delivered thy soul thank you jesus tafsiri hii ya kiswahili tusoma kwa ajili ya ufahamu ya wengi ambao labda Kiingereza imekukwepa Kiingereza inasoma hivi Ezekiel sura ni tatu kuanzia mstari wa 17 Mwana Adamu nimekuweka kuwa mlinzi wa nyumba ya Israeli basi sikia neno hili litokalo katika kinywa changu ukawaape maonyo haya yatokayo kwangu 
Nimwambia hapo mtu mbaya hakika utakufa wewe usimpe maonyo wala usemi e, na huyo mtu mbaya ili kumuonya kusudi aache njia yake mbaya na kujiokoa nafsi e, roho yake mtu yule atakufa katika uovu wake lakini damu yake nitaitaka mkononi mwako hapo Mungu amenirudia maana mie nimeosha mikono yangu lakini ukimuonya mtu mbaya wala yeye eh ubaya wake wala njia yake mbaya atakufa katika uovu wake bali wewe umejokoa roho yako mimi nimejokoa tena katika hali hiyo mstari wa 20 yasema tena mtu mwenye haki ya aiachapo uh, haki yake na kutenda uovu nami nikiweka kikwazo mbele yake atakufa kwa sababu huku muonya atakufa katika uovu wake wala matendo yake ya haki aliyoyatenda hayatakumbukwa lakini damu yake nitaitaka mkononi mwako hapa pia bwana nimejiosha maana nilitenda ipasavyo bali ukimuonya mwenye haki kwamba yule mwenye haki asitende dhambi tena ikiwa yeye atendi dhambi hakika ataishi kwa sababu alikubali kuonywa nawe umejiokoa roho yako someone bwana tukuzwe nimejiokoa mie roho yangu Isaiah sura 44 let's look at Isaiah 44 and uh, verse number 24 that says the lord thy redeemer and he that formed thee from the womb i am the lord that maketh all things that stretcheth forth the heavens alone that spreadeth for abroad the earth by myself that frustrated the tokens of the liars and that maketh diviners mad that turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers that says to jerusalem thou shall be inhabited and to the cities of judah you shall be built and I will raise up the decayed places thereof that says to the deep be dry and i will dry up thy rivers 28 that says to of cyrus he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure even saying to jerusalem thou shall be built and to the temple thy foundation shall be laid kiswahili na so many tafsiri na so many tafsiri ya kiswahili isaiah nimesema sura 44 nasoma kuanzia mstari wa 24 Bwana mkombozi wako yeye aliyekuumba tumboni asema hivi Mimi ni Bwana nifanyae vitu vyote nisitandae mbingu peke yangu nienezae inchi ni nani aliye pamoja nami nizitanguae ishara za waongo na kuwatia waganga wazimu Niwarudishae nyuma wenye hekima na kuyageuza maarifa yao kufanyika uchinga. Nilithibitishae neno la mtumishi wangu na kuyafikiliza mashauri ya wajumbe wangu. Niwaambia Yerusalemu utakaliwa na watu nayo na miji ya Yuda itajengwa. Nami nitapainua mahali pake palipobomoka. Niviambiae vilindi kauka. Nami nitakukausha mito yako. Nimwambiae koreshi mchungaji wangu. Naye atayatenda mapenzi yangu hata ataunenea Yerusalemu uh, utajengwa na hilo hekalu msingi wako utawekwa. Someone hallelujah. Bwana natukuze someone the Lord be glorified. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, nimeosha mikono. 
I want to start by thanking God kwa jili ya zile unabia manituma ni kazi sema. Munga nazithibitisha yeye mwenyewe. So number one, someone called Bishop Margaret Wanjiro. Awache drama na awache kelele. Alejifanya kiziwi wakati munga lijituma ni mpe maonyo. I've given her warning for three years in a row. Wacha kiburi. Stop crocodile tears. Shida yake Margaret sio Ruto. Shida ya Margaret ni Mungu. Hawa ni baadhi ya watumishi waliojifanya wajuaji. Wakati niliwaambia kwamba Ruto was not God sent. He was not God's choice. I remain a single prophet when you na watu because everybody wanted prophecies that tingled their ears. Is it not Bishop who prophesied that Ruto will be president? Did God blindfold uh, Margaret Wanjiro's eyes from seeing that uh, uh, to, from seeing what is happening now but again, she will see that Ruto will be president. Today, you are reaping what you sowed. And keep reaping. Nani lewambia hivi, watu mishu wote. Ambao wali shabikia na kuchangia kwa maumbezi, unabi, maongeo, na hali zingine zote kufanya kwa Ruto rais wakati Mungu atafanya kuhukumu Ruto na ikulu yake na serikali yake wachungaji wote hakuna atakayeponea those prophecies are full zimejaa kwa mtandao god cannot be mocked the same mouth you bless Ruto you purport to be the same mouth you are cursing him which side are you, Margaret? These are the mcheses of Atumisha Bawa na Beiraisi. The thing that God can always jump from, God can jump from east to west. Ukiruka west, munga na uka na wewe. Ukiruka south, na uka na wewe. Please, please. Mungu wa chesange kati, God never plays those hide and seek games. Nile wambia, go will judge Ruto and the administration. Na kitamba munga mamazana na ruto, wachungaja ambao mulikula na yeye, mulitembea na yeye, mulilala na yeye, mulicheka na yeye, mukadhi haki mungu wa binguni pamoja na yeye. Ngojeni viboko. This far, I've been vindicated. Those who said I'm a prophet, mwenye mdomobagi, prophet of doom, Prophet mwenye mwenye chuki, anaoneanga ruto. Prophet mwenye anaonea wachungaji. Today, mutasema nini? I will stick to the course that God uh, called me. The course that God ordained for me. To speak the truth and only the truth that God reveals to me. At no cost. Si chukwingi pesa. Now, I want all the other clergy in the Republic of Kenya. Uh, nyoene vichwa vienyo kama mtajokoa anzeni kunyua nywele tembeni migutupu for a long time kama Isaiah for three years because you won't escape God's judgment when I spoke these things I was I looked like a busybody people thought that uh, I'm looking for publicity I'm not interested for publicity but God counts that I spoke his word right. Margaret, among us bishops, they were not, they should actually, uh, they should actually uh, go back to the drawing board, drawing board and reassess themselves. Were you called of God to do pulpit ministry? Or you are called of God to be politicians. If 
God called you to be politicians, then go. And uh, politic out there. If you be called to serve God as a shepherd, then stick to the call and be faithful to the call. Talk of Kenyan uh, clergy who are uh, hypocrites. Talk of Kenya's uh, religious class. Eh, the top clergy. Eh, the top cream. Who think that they'll, they'll actually fool everybody. I want those clergy in good time. They are not satisfied with the pulpit ministry. And so they went after another God. Ruto became their God. Money became their God. Fame became their God. Having name, seeking for vain glory, became their pursuit. Ask them, where did they leave God? I said it, that your own Ruto will be like a mauling dog. He shall maul his own puppies. I said that one of the clergy from Mount Kenya, that you entered some MOUs with Ruto so that you can have a, a religious state. Kenya becomes a, a religious state so that the government is a government, is a church government. <laughs> Eh? so that we have a church state and uh, Ruto promised you staff and you wrote MOUs I told you you shall know who Ruto is God will actually mock you because you mocked God so the Mount Kenya clergy were on the front line plus the NCCK and these other uh, religious outfits, they transform themselves to be political campaigners. And they campaign pretty well. Kudos to Margaret Wanjiro. She says she actually sold Ruto to Nairobians, UDA to Nairobians. Well, uh, everybody knows. She wasn't the only one. Where is Mark Karaoke? Where is Pius Muiru? Where are they? Where is Teresia Wairimo? Where is she? Where is uh, Kimani Williams? Where? And where is Harrison Nganga? I told you that uh, the greatest pandemic Kenya suffers today is the church. A rogue church. A rotten church. Presided over by blind clergy. If Jesus comes today to rapture the church of Kenya, a very small percentage will make heaven. And don't be surprised. Your bishops will remain your archbishops with their big robes, they will remain. Your prophets and your apostles and your teachers, super teachers, they will stay behind. Your gospel musicians, your super intercessors, they remain behind interceding. But Jesus will take only the few that will have found. Because Kenya, as it is right now, or the church in Kenya as it is right now, I've said it before, is unfit to birth revival. To birth revival. You have clergy who are salesmen, who are entrepreneurs. They take your monies, they land, they launder your monies in businesses. Your bishops run brothels. Your bishops 
uh, uh, Shylocks, <laughs> they are money lenders. You are bishops. Are uh, investors in businesses. You are bishops. Are supporters uh, of the wicked. They strengthen the hand of the wicked. You are clergy are actually hungry hyenas. They have become like politicians who will never get satisfied chasing after every opportunity to make cash, to make rich. That may inform you why Pius Muiru wanted to be president. Do you remember the same Pius Muiru got himself to sending, selling sand, anointed sand on the pulpit. You carry the soil, you go get rich. That is one Bishop, Mark, Bishop Pius Muiru. Did he become president? The same is now the spiritual father of another con man called Ezekiel. Odero. Conning people all over. I told you the state will not prosecute Odero. Today, ask Ruto, did he prosecute Odero? I told you that uh, Ruto won't prosecute Nganga. Did he prosecute Nganga, James? And all of us know the merchandising criminality these people do in Nairobi. Did he even prosecute Kanyari? They didn't. Today, I'm vindicated. To prove that it was not God's affair. Today, Margaret has become a turncoat. She's become a turncoat. Today, Ruto is the devil. But before then, Ruto was the saint. Talk of uh, political prostitution. Talk of spiritual wardom. Jumping from one bed to another bed. Today you sleep with Satan. Tomorrow you sleep with Jesus. Ah. Today you are dancing on the altar, praising Jesus. Tomorrow you are dancing on the devil's uh, altar, praising the devil. That tells you that uh, Margaret Wanjiro was, a, 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 was actually pro-Ruto. And to her, Ruto was the darling as long as... Uh, the bread was battered, was being battered by Ruto. And all that she never got portfolios in the government. Uh, Ruto ceased to be a darling. Please, someone tell Margaret Wairimo, uh, Margaret Wanjiro, when she vied for a political office, she should remember I gave a prophecy about herself and Mike Sonko, that they won't smell anything near. And so it is, it is, it happened. For them, you'll never see political office because God will show you that you are detestable. Is it the devil that stopped Margaret from becoming uh, whatever she wanted to become in Nairobi? It was not God, it was not uh, the devil. It was God who frustrated Margaret's quest to become, was it? She wanted to become who, whatever, a uh, woman rep for Nairobi, something like that. Or, 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 uh, or a governor for that matter. Telling you that uh, the presidency or the elections and all such were just, uh, were just, uh, they were just fiascos. that Kenya's elections are manipulated in favor of those who may be right. So if you don't get it, you can only be so sure that God frustrated it. And so today, Margaret is uh, blowing hot. At the time, she was blowing cold. Margaret should have gone back to God, but I doubt if she still has favor with God. God will cut you into size. And that's just the beginning. I said this because I saw it three, four years ago. Four years ago, she lost it. 
These are clergy who are spent bullets. All they want to do is hang around state house, hang around kings and hang around uh, uh, princes in the government. And no wonder they have made Ruto to be one that uh, takes servants of God lightly. All of you, prepare. I told you that judgment, go back to the prophecies that are there publicly. Sit down with them. Those prophecies are there. Unless maybe our media will want to take it upon themselves to start telling you which prophecies are those ones that touches on uh, Margaret. Eh? I mean, Margaret, Margaret Wanjiro. And those ones that touches on Teresia Wairimo. And those that touches on uh, Kimani Williams. Then um, a bulk of those prophecies touches on James Nganga. I say James Nganga. Uh, the ministry will be removed from Nairobi. I said it. I said it will not stay in Nairobi. So stop calling Ruto Muchawi. Stop calling Ruto Muizi. Stop calling him names, please. God sent me to speak it. You ignored it. Now you perish. Is it not James Nganga that have given warnings? And one of those warnings specifically was that Neno evangelism shall not be in their heart of Nairobi center and that it shall be removed hey the followers of James Nganga invaded uh, our walls I was insulted left right and center my God will show you never again point a finger at an anointed servant of God neither nor desire to do him any harm and may the Lord shake you properly. Merchandises in Nairobi have actually converted Nairobi. They have turned Nairobi to be another Sodoma and Gomorrah. And every prophet can have his way, do things his own style. Odero do his style. Nanga do his own style. Uh, Manyuru do his own style. Uh, the Mwai brothers do their own style. And uh, Teresia do her own style. And the rest do their own style. That is Nairobi. You thought God went on leave. Mungu akwenda likizo. When you ignore a prophet sent of God when he warns you, you ignored. Prophecy warnings almost four years now. Shall someone say that God is unfair? God is not unfair. And so the church, any pastor, any bishop, whether reverend, right or left, archbishop or cardinal, that uh, received cash or goodies from Ruto to buy a car, build a house, buy land, or buy suits, or whatever you bought, you lack any moral authority to speak anything regarding righteousness. And as, um, as though that isn't enough, you are attracting judgment. If Kenyan, if Kenyan clergy, the church of Kenya really want to pursue, um, pursue after revival, which will demand genuine repentance, then they must return plus refund anything they received from the state. They should. They should. But look at all these people. When Ben Hinn came, they all shared the podium. The witches <laughs> shared the podium. So we had Ezekiel there. You know, those are witches. Ezekiel, James Nganga. <laughs> Who else was there? Someone should tell me. I, did, I didn't watch. But uh, I didn't sit down when I was happening. But I know. Kinamuiro were there. James Nanga were there. So they are the holy saints of God. The holy prophets. <laughs> and uh, was not Margaret there? And Teresia, was she not there? They shared Benihini and me, all of them, Sanyo Kwachungu Kimoja, all of them. 
on the same bandwagon. Was Jesus Lord to all of them? Some things are laughable. Laughable, comical. Kenya is a nation of comedians. Unasanya was what masarakasi kiroho. Love na sema tiasa munga meleta kuponya Kenya. God has healed the land. God has healed the land. God has healed the land. Kenya is healed. Saba tafrele bele hil muchukwe pesa yenyu. Fuateli elandege. We teach a pesa zenyu. The land is healed. Land is healed. Neliwambia. Kabla mulete huyo mtu wenyu muli invite please i think Benin should have just come as a, a guest to Rachel and uh, Ruto's house akule huko hakunywe huko asalime Charlene Ruto na ofra hii huko na it will have been just a, a, a house affair no one will have brought any issues because in any case who invited her who invited Benin it is Rachel Ruto but now look what was purported i mean they purported it to look like god brought the messiah in the name of benny hin to heal kenya making as we prophets of god who speak the mind of god to be useless what i spoke simunaona ama muone i told you before and during and after benny hin will leave there are things that will happen to Kenya to prove that God was displeased. Ama no ambe ndobi mvua ya kujia. I think I should ask for mvua ifunguliwe na iru babda mjanya shua mzuri. If Ruto, if Benny Hinn had a favor with God, he should have overturned the judgment I spoke. Wale mwambe meme ni mchawi. So they made some prayers. Ayi wale rushwa makombora. Zili rushwa kurushwa. Hey, you know, Benin, the problem that we have in Kenya is one man called Onyango Mako Chiem. So if Benin sits with God, you should have convinced God that uh, God, Beba Onyango and Amaskio carried this Onyango with his ears, then threw him in Indian Ocean or threw him in Oceanic or Pacific Ocean. Kenya is a nation that has a lot of stupid people. A lot of you are very stupid. Ule mtu anakuja kufanya show watu wananguka anguka eh mwingine akasukuma akavunjika na kiketi did you see vile anashika mtu akarusha mtu ambia mchawi wewe katupa huyo mchawi mbali that was physical that was not power Bado odero alapatikala Bada kutupa na mzungu Please believe it. Okay, baba, but you can't say. Russia is very well. You go. Ah, where was power? Where was power? I always tell these prophets. And then in Nairobi, we could say, "Okay, Uru Park, you know what? Then make your prayer to God. I'll pray from Eldoret. Then you see which God answers by fire. Muzunga lefanya kitu mzuri. Sanya mutu. Wamfanya ya onekane bure. Tadalia 14 million, 15 million. Nasikia watu na lamika. Watu na lamika. Haa wachawi na wakora. Please mjaribu basi mulete pop. Mamulete TDJX. Kenya ni insi nyo watu napenda sarakasi. Look at all that. Was God there? Did you see God there? Kuna watu wakatoka makwao wakenda kulala Nairobi. And the name of pastors, they want to go and tap into Benin's anointing. I told you, test every spirit. The Benin we have today, is not the Benin of those days. The Benin of those days is not the Benin of today. And they all land into the nation Kenya at the invitation of some funny characters. I say funny character because all those that have been invited to the Republic have got uh, you know, have got question marks. I mean uh, they, are, 
they are standing with God and standing in the society is questionable. Well, I thank God that God has confirmed because I told you, Mutavuna, you shall reap after Benin leaves. You shall reap. You shall reap while he's there plus when he's left. So, did there was, were there no incidences in Nairobi? Now, have, not, have they not been there to date? And uh, he's still loading. So, Bishop Wairimo's uh, uh, predicaments is just part of those overflow of Benihin because he was there. That's one of the overflows. Eh? Not to be waking up one morning and feeling like uh, uh, Wanjiro should not be anywhere near Nairobi. So is that, uh, is that something to be joyous about? Reaping the aftermath after Ruto. I mean, after Benihin. Please keep counting, keep counting, keep on counting. Now, that's not all. I want Raila Odinga about uh, Ruto. Any mathematics that uh, Ruto is involved <laughs> be very suspicious. Jacom Nangisi. I told Jacom. If God wanted you to be AU chairman, you don't need Ruto's backing. You go. But uh, Kenya without Raila Odinga in the political arena, please, wa Kenya mtakuwa nyamachoma. Mtakuwa tu nyamachoma. Ama kama si nyamachoma, mtakuwa means meat. Because I told you kwamba Raila Odinga has been the greatest hurdle to Ruto's uh, uh, despotic endeavor to be a despot. So Raila Odinga has been one that uh, is the only hindrance remaining. Church was swallowed. Civil society was bought. And uh, so only Raila was remaining. There's no opposition. Because Carlos has never had teeth to, to bite or a voice to back. So I warn Raila Odinga, Raila Odinga, <laughs> when Nindo, Yawangit, Yawpachi, the warnings I gave Raila Odinga from some time back, Unapangwa, na wazungu, wanakupanga, wanakupanga from New York, wanakupanga from Washington, D.C. Ukapangwa, ukapangwa, ukapangwa. AU African Union is never an independent outfit. It is subject to the West. They dictate who sits there and who does not sit. Just like UN. Hmm? Controlled by the superpowers. And uh, so Kenya has gone to a real slumber politically. Because Raila won't raise a finger, won't open his mouth, he won't back unless he loses the AU, uh, the AU opportunity. So Talala Kama Baasha, Baasha. Did I not warn Raila Odinga? I warned him. And I'll tell you more about, uh, because today I didn't want to talk about what touches on Raila so much. I wanted to give it a special day so that he'll hear me. Plus all these people. So Mojipang, Labda next week, it was to be today. But today, Nimepewa uh, something else ya kusema. I also, I warned you about, uh, will you, uh, did I not want Tabitha, Tabitha Karanja? Tabitha Karanja I warned her four years ago about Karacho Industries. She was a good-looking woman, strong, sharp, enterprising, but in the wrong thing. If you sell alcohol, unaharibu watu. 
mtoto mtoto wa watu nyumba za watu kawaribu na pombe you think god will love you and i want the woman that in the love of god eh uh, close the company sell it someone else get some money anza kuuza juice ai hapo nisikia kaambia hii kampuni hii itakuletea maafa nyumba yako mtakufa na hii kampuni itawaletea magonjwa itawaletea shida the company will collapse and will never recover for years from now that should have been how many years 2020 walikubali ama walikataa i said it publicly unless they are not give it to public okay maybe i'm not uh, mimi sijulikani sana wale sema huyu ni ka, ka prophet ambaye akajulikana nange sana so kutojulikana kutojulika kwangu sana did not stop the heavens from confirming the word of my mouth leo angalia tabitha is is keroche still there ama iko icu chunga from icu itenda higher dependence unit i told you tabitha karanja you and your husband that's before your daughter passed on wacha nini na hii kitu ndetu wa Kedocha Industries breweries you'll fight a battle that you should you'll finish with your own life so look at them now Do, are they healthy are they financially sound do they have peace in their families god is not mocked they ignored the warning of a prophet eh hey, i'm a man of a small church and i'm a small man but god knows why he raised me to speak tell that one to tabitha i don't know if you have a chance to get saved i'm not sure but try joining government was a was a plan to try and cover up and see if you can survive uh, the taxes you can actually uh, survive the judgment ya mungu whether tax or not tax you are suffering god judgment god was uh, god sent me to speak it tell you mulikata so who will help you who will help you I want uh, James Nanga. Kwamba anatembea na nyota ngapi? Tatu. Hizo nyota tatu James Nanga kama unaniona. Ndio <laughs> sijifanye mojaja mwerevu maana nisinga mnatumianga watu wakora. Sasa sikia. Hizo nyota tatu means wewe ulishachoma. In case you die now, moto jahanamu straight. and i heard that there's an archbishop who prays for who prayed for you did he lead you to an altar call nasikia enganga aliongoza kwa ombi la toba ah si ombi la toba nasikia ni ombi ya deliverance ama ilikuwa ni ombi la kuponywa james enganga aliombewa na nganga mwingine ili i were restored Uh, I tell you James nganga rudi tena wakuombe judgment ya Mungu wenye litangaza juu yako kwamba pia itolewe I warned you in good time kwambia Mungu ana makasiriko na wewe James nganga ile kitu umefungwa Nairobi si kanisa ni biashara wacha biashara chapo radi na ingolewe na tinga tinga niliwaambia itinga tinga kitambo please ota utaona vile itakuja itabeba hiyo kitu mnaitanga meli ya nganga itapatikana kwingine they thought that uh, nilikuwa na na wivu mimi sina wivu please heaven watu wenye wivu waingi so sina wivu then binguni pia watu waasi waingi nikikataka kukuambia nitahesabiwa mwasi please nafanya bidii kuingia binguni i must speak it because i'm a prophet So labda udijokoe. Labda 
James Ngango Jokoi. So wafuasi wako alisema kwamba eh eh mimi sijui eh So mimi eh mimi oh mimi nilitumana tu nilitumwa neno nikupatie. But nyota zako tatu nafikiri inaosha kwamba umefika mwisho umechoma. Umechoma. Why you not warned? I warned you. So the aftermath. Sasa ni maombi ya kuzima moto na bidii ya kuzima moto. Na ndio watu wengi hupenda hiyo. I warned uh, Apostle Kimani about heavens. Is it a heavens gate or a hell's gate? I don't know kama ni hell's gate ama ni heaven's gate. Niliwaambia ni hiyo hell's gate ama heaven's gate. Prayer mountain. Itakuwa mahame someday because Mungu uwepo wake alitoa. Mungu alitoa uwepo wake hiyo hell's or heaven's gate. Na niliposema hivi kimani wakapanga intercessors wengi. Kazi yao ni kuombea onyango. Thank God kwa kuniombea na mimi ni mzima katika Kristo Yesu. I will always tell the truth. Wa Kenya ambao wanataka Mungu, tafuteni Mungu mahali anapatikana. Kule Hell's Gate Mungu alihama. Amen. Heaven's Gate Mungu alihama. Na told Kimani, una miaka tatu ambazo Mungu atakuingiza kwa mchujo, Three years. If you had you had me na ukaanza maombezi usiingie kwa hukumu then don't make me your enemy because i am not your enemy nabi mtu ashikange kisasi na nabi so i'm not so sure whether you are praying right because you place me in the bl- in the bracket ya watu wale ambao wanaonanga ni false prophet na ambao na intercessors wako kama ile mama na ambao na unalipuliwe kupu bunduki pu grenade kupu za kiroho Tuma. But I said this kwamba apostle Kimani you did some good work but umemazia vibaya. Kalenda ya Mungu kuna three years of judgment. Cheza tu juu saa hii. Na ndio ya mwisho. Utalamba sakafu. Baya sana. God will judge, God will Mungu atakupepeta sana apostle Kimani. I don't want to give you this one privately but uh, kukufikia likataa. Uh, Nikiwaombea unaenda kwa Harrison. <laughs> Nikituma unabii mnaenda kwa Harrison. Nikituma unabii mnakusanyika na Teresia. Sasa sijui utakimbilia nani maana hata hao ni wakimbilia. Wajua ni Mungu ndiye alinituma niseme miaka tatu hiyo judgment. If you don't make amends to bad au ambao wanafanya ku, ku, kuangalia kimani kama ndiyo Mungu wenyu endeleeni mimi nimeopatia na nimetumwa na Bwana if what have given to you you doubt it seek from God through another seek from God through another prophet because there's no monopoly of the revelations of God tafuta kwake ujue confirm chenye nimesema na naambia na watumishi ambao wamenifanya prayer item whether nganga whether nani Munajifanyia makosa Mungu atawatwanga na tauni. Tawapiga sana. So kila mtu scamper for your safety. Eh, kuna watumishi ambao wanawaka moto ni mishale all round. Please tell our kubwa kubwa wajichunge sana. Mjichunge sana. I've warned you about that. Then also uh, a warning that I gave to Kindiki Kiture niliambia kindiki kiture chunga mvi itakutoka nyingi sana kwa sababu ya shida ambazo zitakushinda kutatua i told about insecurity and the places i mentioned tell you any sis watafuta mbele nilisema kwa mtandao zote mkae chini mujipange every place i mentioned amtajiokoa kwa sababu mna kiburi i told you from turkana West Pokot Samburu nikawaambia paka Kakamega Busia paka Bungoma then i told you about Kisi i told you about Kisumu i mentioned about coast province then i mentioned Nakuru then i mentioned uh, Central Kenya criminality and the criminal gangs and bosta inuka i mentioned them in details i don't want to go back to them because nitakuwa nakusaidia 
chenye nataka wewe ndio utafute that one is for kidure kindiki <laughs> na police aij acha tena wasaidie ndio ni mtatu kwa mtandao chenye lisema iko huko wenda mjisaidie akawaambia about magaidi eh, vile watatuanga polisi kule eh, lamu akawaambia na Mombasa please mgeni tumie hesabu ya maskari ambao wamekufa kuliko kuzificha because mimi niliwaambia so mnajifanya werevu endelee ni kuzika so kitule kindiki alisahau Mungu he was a brother in the lord some years back today i don't know who is brother in which lord but say he hali tata ya insecurity won't have medicine and i told there will be a run a run away criminality in this republic it is coming very soon i wonder about um, Kenya judgment yenu ni kwamba you are ruto atapeleka polisi wenyu sacrifice niliwaambia so sacrifice hiyo mjijazie eh tangu ni polisi wakafanyika majeshi kama ni polisi mwenye kichwa mzuri unisikie au utarudi hai you won't come back alive ruto is in god's judgment is bloody Jokoe KDF wako kwa kambi si wapelekwe So Toto is using I told you that uh, he'll use any opportunity to to find favor with the west he'll grab any opportunity to rate himself as a good african leader he'll use any opportunity to negotiate for uh, for his own glory and that will be kutumia polisi uh, to negotiate to have a standing and uh, a voice over international matters niliwaambieni kuhusu plague number number 8 and those plagues are 10 and kenya has already swallowed 7 <laughs> complete that's a 8 you've remained with uh, maybe one and a half <laughs> the half is the flood ambaye jaisha niliwaambia mtakula mafuriko kenya you people mnapenda kusikiza meteorological department more than you muna, more than you hear me and don't you know that meteorological department also some of them angled kusikia what am i saying then they use kwa tangazeni kwa tv niliwaambia mtakula maji na niliwaambia Mungu atawakulisha maji na especially Nairobi nikamwambia simu hame hame mlikata so wale ambao nyumba yenu naloa maji wacheni kulialia serikali 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 takusaidiaje when that same serikali wana wameshindwa kujisaidia wamekimbia wasaidike kwingine na kusaidika kwingine ndio maana mko na captain ambaye anatembea bakuli kila mahali bakuli jaja bakuli jaja saidia 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 pesa saidia pesa saidia mkopo saidia mkopo saidia saidia maskini saidia saidia maskini niliwaambia kiboko moja laana ambao Mungu atapiga nao Kenya mfalme wenyu atakopesha atakopa kukopa na hata kwa na breaks ya kukopa na mnaiona ole wake mtu yule ambaye anamtupa Mungu na akamsahau Mungu wake ole wake ole ole wenyu wa Kenya kwa kumtupa Mungu mbali you settle for something for a president mtakopa kukopa mtakopa kukopa sasa saa hii si mnakopa so ni kila mara saidia so tauni nambari saba naomba inakuja na mafuriko the last leg so mafuriko ambayo mtapokea eh, sehemu ya saba ndio ya mwisho ikisha kamilika bas mwaka huu mnaingia kwa kiangazi kiangazi ambaye inaenenda kwa muda mrefu sana it will be a long spell of drought a long spell of drought which spells doom to Kenya's agricultural basket 
So hata ambao mnakonga na mahindi <laughs> please mind yako fanya dhahabu dhahabu. Neri ukule kule na usiuze maana jirani yako atakuwa njaa unaweza pea kidogo. Stop selling your maize. Just keep them uh, so that uh, in the event people are hungry you can donate. Ambe jirani gunia kula kula. Because hali ambayo inakuja ni judgment tauni ambayo Mungu ameachilia. That hiyo hali ya njaa na ukame itakamilisha tauni nambari nane. Na hiyo njaa ni miaka tatu na nusu. That means kwamba plague number nine and number ten, when they will strike plague number eight the last leg ya drought and famine for three years will still be running so the three years hiyo <laughs> ni njaa na ukame so even the plague number nine and ten but itapata njaa na ukame so that tells you plague number nine and ten ambayo inatoa naambia ruto inapeleka ruto nyumbani because those are the place that takes him home uh, plague number plague number eight, the last leg ya drought will still be running hiyo plague enye na plague karuto nyumbani ndio wachungaji watalia sana watumisha ambao alisimama na serikali hiyo watalia tena sana I'm reminded of central Kenya niliwaambia central Kenya region saizi mwanza kuona mwanza kuona mifanyiko za unabii ambazo niliwaambia I told you that hey, there will be betrayals betrayals upon betrayals see si, si ni kana wa viongozi wa Santo Kenya wale walilewa na Ruto 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 UDA Ruto UDA Ruto sasa mutabidi eh Mwingi katika hali ya kukatakata mili yenu mtoe ile ile ruto kwa nyama zenu mtoe kwa nyama zenu kwa mishipa kwa damu mtoe ruto mbaki wa safi Maana Mungu alikasirika na nyinyi Central Kenya Mtaona shida kama Nyanza province ambao walikuwa naabudu miungu Central Kenya what has been your problem shida yenu ilitoka na wapi shida ya Central Kenya ni mletewa miungu za kigeni mkaziamini muliamini wachungaji wenyu wakawadanganya kuingizwa watumishi wenyu wali watumishi wenyu waliingizwa kwa maombezi na madhabiu na maagano za wale watumishi kutoka siju wapi Ghana Nigeria Uganda Tanzania America eh, in the name of super preachers then mkaingizwa na pastors pasa wenyu kaingia kwa kiota ya Ruto kukula na kuomba laana kukula na kuomba laana kukula na kuombea laana uh, makabila zingine wasipate uongozi in particular muli laani sana Raila Odinga inaonekana laana yenyu ilifanya kazi but god is all mocked Mungu anakanga kama mzee judgment yake inaweza kuja pole pole sana kama alisahau This, this is saying kwamba Mungu ni kama guka <laughs> sometimes but you get to know kwamba God hata wakati na kama mba ifanyike he is working judgment yenyewe sent to Kenya niliwatangazia ndio saa hii oneni uchumi yenyu itaanguka sent to Kenya asa sasa sinaanguka si agriculture yenyewe imeanguka si Santo Kenya agriculture imeanguka eh Santo Kenya kwa ulevi mnaongoza hmm paka serikali imeona ni janga kuu <laughs> kama serikali yenye hata juu Mungu sana najua kama ni janga kuu Santo Kenya ni walevi mnalewa sana please ni laana Mungu anasema amuoni ninawapiga Mungu anawapiga Na uchumi wenyu Santo Kenya itaisha mtakuwa kama Nyanza. Mtakuwa kama Nyanza. Huwa mnacheka Nyanza na Western kwamba hii wajaluo na waluya ni watu masikini. Kehi. Sasa waoneni. 
Mungu amewachapa Central Kenya. Viongozi wenyu ni kama wenda wazimu. Hesabu zao zinagonga mwamba. Uchumi inawalemea, shilingi inawacheza karata. Hizo hesabu sio za serikali. Mungu hapa muliharibu kibali yenu na Mungu. Muli viongozi wenyu hawa mapasta hawa waliwacheza. God is not mocked. And also Santo Kenya you thought that will be a ruling class forever. Nikiburi. Nikiburi. Mnaangalia makabila zingine kana kwamba hao si hawa ni nyuma sana. Mungu aliwaangalia ndio maana please wacha kujiangalia kabila yetu someone jiangalie wewe peke yako mbele za Bwana wewe utaokoka because central kenya is judged by god if central kenya you doubt please angalia vile coast inafanana coast province then angalia western kenya vile inafanana then angalia nyanza province yote vile inafanana ndio mjua kwamba mlibarikiwa lakini nyinyi kiburi chenyu mkaona kana kwamba mkubarikiwa mkaona ile baraka kama ni obvious sasa it is no longer obvious munenge the same bracket penye nyanza western na coast waliingia wakakuwa imewakula ikawakula sasa ni ta, you are turn wala masema mtaseme ishindwe 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 mimi si shindwi na Mungu ashindwe enda amenituma rudini kwake na mkimpata yule altar priest anaitwa eh anaitwa na anaitwa ngegi nani anaitwa muigai eh, mungai the priest wa um, uh, the priest of that altar mnaitanga mkuwe gadanga altar huyo kuhani mumwambie anyoroshe mashaki kae vizuri nikubaya santo kenya for that reason Uh, I don't think sasa mtanichukia maana sinyeliwambia me ask come to pass. So you may need to make me your friend so that uh, uh, Mungu pia waurumie. Those who think that uh, nimeongea vibaya poleni. Nilitumwa niwaambie so ulipuuza unabii. Hasa angalieni vile zinawapeleka. God is no respect of persons. Wewe ni mfalme. Wewe ni Uh, when tajiri we maskini we mchungaji we bishop mungu angalia ngizo god is not respecter of persons Now, those of us who have got ears to, to hear things hear this one for aila odingas um, uh, bromance or romance with ruto it is forced It's not a handshake. It is a bad omen for the Republic of Kenya. It is a bad omen. That's the title for the next prophecy. You can write it in waiting. A bad omen. Ushirika wa Ruto na Raila si baraka kwa nchi. Why? Ruto suffers God's judgment na he knows anajua kwa na hukumu so all they are trying to bring to do kuleta watu ambao wanaweza ongea na Mungu kwa niaba yao mzungu aongee na Mungu kwa niaba yao wapindue ile hukumu hukumu ya Mungu iko sasa Raila Odinga kwenda kufanya kwamba anakubaliana mwenye Mungu amehukumu basi inaingiza ipi kwa hukumu it smells bad for the nation it won't be good it won't be well ruto has had a time ya kutafuta he has had enough time to make his ways right but he has refused ruto amekataa kufanya toba <laughs> amekataa toba but mimi wale pia atakuwa ndio fimbo ya hukumu kwa wale mapasta ambao walikula na yeye Haya mwenye masikio nafanya nini na asikie please soko na duka hizo prophecy okay atuzi zote media you do your work watu waingie kwa soko waone vitu niko huko ana tieko 
Wacha niambie Bwana nimemaliza. Jehova nyasaye. Atieko. I have said to them what you sent me to say. Lord, I have spoken to them, reminding them, Lord, lest they say that nobody ever told them. And so, Lord, I pray that may it be counted of me of, as righteousness. In the Lord God, I will not be one that Lord will partake of the judgment of the wicked. I pray that, Father, may it be unto us as a nation according to your word. Sasa baba, naomba kwamba hukumu yako. And the laser jeans you want to leave your panga, the jeans you leave your kusudia. Upande wangu mbie bwana nikanyenyekea. Baba watu wajua kwamba ulinituma na umethibishwa kwamba bwana mimi ni mtumishi wako. Asante mara tena kwa uaminifu wako. Katika Yesu Kristo nimeomba. Amen. Pigia bwana makofi in Jesus name we pray.